institutional market maker approach to making money in the forex market. In this video, we'll highlight some techniques used by institutional traders that keeps them on the other side of the game. These people keep on making money in the forex market without limit. Yes, you fed me right, without limit, and they are actually guaranteed to make money out of the forex market. If you are able to replicate these techniques, I guarantee that you will make money in the market forever. But before we jump into the war video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so, as well as check the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a new video. Please check out our free telegram channel where we share free signals, trading advice as well as support and motivation. The link is right down below. So the first thing is, is trading gambling. People outside the forex market thinks that forex is gambling. They think it is very risky and something that is not doable. So before we start anything else, we need to clarify this point. Honestly, forex trading is gambling. It is a financial casino designed to take money from retail traders. A question that comes in mind is, so who always win in this mighty financial casino? The answer is the market makers. Who are the market makers? They are prop firm traders, hedge fund managers, banks, even some brokers are market makers. If you take anyone to decide whether GBP USD is going to rise or fall, he or she may just press buy or sell and basing on luck, that trade may be correct. From that perspective, that person may say he or she can trade, but luck doesn't last forever. This is the same exact scenario with several traders in this industry. They've won one or five trades, even in a consecutive manner, and they now feel they can now take money forever. But that's not the point. So for the market makers to keep a consistent income flow, they do not depend on luck, but have techniques to keep taking or tapping in the notes. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to do the same. So the first thing is to set up yourself as a market maker if you want to take money forever in this game. If we look at the forex market, there are only three things that can happen. The market can trend up, down or range. Finding a strategy that can help you to keep pinning on one pattern in these chaotic movements will give you what we call an edge. So on this channel, we've discussed several strategies that can actually give you a repeatable pattern that occurs within these chaotic movements of the market. If you hear what a prop trader uses in managing large sums of capital, you will laugh out because it's simple. There is no market maker that trades a very difficult system. Why? Because they need to put that effort in managing their risk. So how do they keep winning? If you have the repeatable market pattern, right? Uh, and we say if you enter on your repeatable chart pattern, chances that the market will go your way is not 100%, but chances are more than 50% because you've actually seen that this pattern can be repeatable over and over again. Let's say this pattern plays out 60% of the time. That means whenever you hit a trade uh, on that repeatable pattern, 60% of the time you will be correct and the other 40% it fails. This means your edge is you win 60% of the time and lose 40% of the time. And your statistical edge is 20%, which is way above uh other casino players. So since we said that Forex is a big giant financial casino, there are real casinos out there where you can play roulette, 
you can bet on uh, horses on uh, dogs several things but your statistical age in those things will be less than one percent but the casino or the in-house will have five percent so imagine someone is actually investing billions of dollars to only rely on a statistical age of five percent but you have 20 percent with this kind of a system but there's more to it to increase the statistical age the market makers will incorporate the ratio of returns so the ratio of returns is how much are they willing to get or to lose per trade the ratio is actually the number that we get after we divide what they expect and what they are willing to give away for the amount of money they plan to lose uh, they plan to gain thrice the figure if they are correct so it means whenever they enter into a contract what they are willing to get out of that contract must be three times what they are willing to lose on that same contract let's say you have one thousand dollars in your account you plan to risk five percent which is fifty dollars per trade if you are wrong but if you are right you want the market to reach three times your risk which is 150 dollars so in that case we are saying that you want thrice the amount of your risk and the ratio of return or in simpler terms the reward to risk ratio is three as to one so that brings us to the law of large numbers since we have defined that your age enables you to win 60 percent of the time and 40 percent of the time it loses it means out of 100 trades without the principle of compounding 60 trades uh, reach your target which becomes 60 multiplied by 150 dollars in monetary terms and becomes nine thousand dollars gross profit then 40 trades reach your stop which becomes 40 multiplied by 50 and your losses becomes a total of two thousand dollars then your net becomes seven seven thousand dollars so by the law of large numbers we are saying the distribution of wins and losses is not in an orderly manner whereby you would see win 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 loss or loss win loss win but you would see them in a random form you might have a streak of four losing trades then a streak of seven winning trades whatever comes but in the end of uh, the large numbers or in the end of a series of trades you real realize a profit so this is to show that the statistical age works in quantity as the quantity increases room for your age to play out also increase so do the same for 1000 trades but this time with a 50 50 percent age you win 500 trades and you lose 500 trades your net will be fifty thousand dollars however one thousand trades won't be reached in a matter of uh, two months three months but in a matter of probably 24 months so here are a few facts about the market makers they of course lose with a consistent calculated risk they don't just lose their losses are consistent and their losses are equal their winning age ranges from 40 to 60 percent from my research i have never seen a market maker or a prof firm trader who trades above uh, 75 percent accuracy so they do not change their approved trading methodology because it has lost three consecutive times and they are not afraid of losses because the law of large numbers will always work in their favor so try to see it it's not about uh your strategy it's not about what you know it's not about uh, how you trade or anything this is all about the mathematics behind the forex trading the mathematics behind 
the financial casino. If you manage to, 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 to tune this in your trading systems, you will definitely make money out of it. Are you trading and getting a, a, a consi consistent same loss? Or today you lose $25, the next day you lose $150, the next day you lose $200, or you are having the same consistent loss when you are losing $15 for a certain period of time? Are you doing that? Are you winning with consistency? That is, are your wins uh, multiplied by three or by two, depending on your choice on each and every trade? If you are not doing uh, such in your system, I am very sure that you are not making money out of Forex. So make sure you try to incorporate this uh, principle of statistical edge in your trading. In conclusion, I always say follow your plan without deviation, distracting thoughts or hesitation to act. On that note, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and check out our free Signals Telegram channel. This is the link in red.